So for this chem trailer case, here are the key concepts to apply. First of all, the concept of variance. Second, the make to order roads. Then the setup of bill of material with components per variance and then some manufacturing operations. So let's go to the database. So the first thing we want to activate um, is the variance. So we'll just go to the settings I will type variant. So you need to activate all these things and just save it afterwards. And basically product variants are used to manage products having different variation variations based on their attributes. For example, the size, uh, the texture, the color, and it allows managing the product at the template level for all variations at once and at the variant level. So with the specific attributes. So let's go to the attributes now. So the attributes here and the configuration of the sales application. And you see that I created two of them already here. So the cam trailer color and the door texture. Let's click one of them to see what's going on. So here. What do we have? I'm just going to click edit so that you see, so you can give a name and then you can just, yeah, you can basically decide between uh, several things and just select different things as well. So here in display type, um, I selected color, for example, uh, the variance, variance creation mode. Since um, our variants are here to stay, we want all possible variants to be created as soon as the attributes and its values are added to a product. So this is why I selected instantly here. And you also see that it, in attribute values, I added the three different values of my cam trailers. Uh, for the yellow one, it's a bit more specific. I just selected the is a custom value box, which will basically enable the customer on the website to, to add additional information if he wants to. For example, if he wants uh, to have some stripes, he will be able to, to write it down and we will get that information. And then you can add the color, basically. So let's just save it again and leave this. So let's just go see the product the cam trailer here. So here at a template level, you see that you have a cam trailer, which is basically the template that actually has six variants. Uh, so based on predefined attributes, which are there because we want our customers to be able to customize their trailer. Of course, you could have way more attributes and thus variants depending on the level of customization you would like to allow. So here you are able to customize customize the product at a template level. And if you'd like to configure the variance, just click this button. And you can basically see what defines the variance. So you have the value, um, which is here. Um, you also have the display type, you have the color here, and you can see that you can even like add an extra price based on the variant. So this is this is just going to sum up with the price we see at the product template level. So the um, the price was ten thousand euros. So in this case, that would be ten thousand euros plus fifty euros. So let's go to the eShop to see how this applies. So I'm just going to go here. So here you you see the product template basically with the standard price, and if you click it you will see all the different options that we configured before. So you see the different colors, you see the door texture that you can change and it adds this extra price, you can uh, select a quantity. And this is the custom, the custom color that I was talking about. So if you click here, you see that you can add, basically you can add some information. If we go back to the back end, to the product template. 
you see that we have an e-commerce tab. I'm just going to click it. And you see that for regarding the availability, uh, I selected the sell regardless of the inventory. So I selected that option because we are using a made to order route and that we are striving to keep as few inventory as possible for some products. Um, so that basically the customers can buy our cam trailers even when we have nothing on hand. So talking about the roads, the roads, this is also something you would need to activate in the settings. So here, of course, in this case, it's activated already. So you will need to activate this basically taking the box and then you can go to the inventory application configuration and you see you have the roads here and basically we are going to use this one so the replenish on order make to order and you might need to unarchive it in this case it's done already but uh you might need to click here filters to see all the archived roads and just unarchive it so since it's Unarchived now, we can apply it to the product. So you just go back to the product, the cam trailer, and you will see that you have this inventory tab here, and you see this replenish on order wrote and the manufacturer wrote. So now let's see the bill of material of this cam trailer. So to do so, let's just go here to bill of material. You could also access this by going to the manufacturing app, product, bills of materials. And you see you have the same information. So I'm just going to click it. And you see all the components of this cam trailer. So as I just said, you see all the different components. And if you click here, you also see that you can have some extra columns. And this apply on variance column is very, it's very interesting because it allows you to define only one bill of material for a product template and slight variations depending on the variance. So you see that this product would apply on this, uh, this component would apply on this variant, for example, and so on. As for this column, this is kind of a check to see if you have actually used what was intended. So just for you to understand a bit more how this goes, let's just click on this structure and cost. So here you see that we are on the variant yellow standard. So you see yellow paint standard door. If I change it, for example, blue wood, you see blue paint wood door. So it changes dynamically. Finally, the cam trailers are customized to order, so it can take time to produce them and to deliver them. This is why we are using lead times. So let's just go back to the cam trailer product. Cam trailer. There are several types of lead times. Each is calculated based on various indicators. Before going through the configuration, so here and here, here is a brief summary of how lead times are calculated and what they are. So the customer lead time, the customer lead time is the default duration you set. Therefore, the expected date on the sales order is today plus customer lead time. Regarding the manufacturing lead time, this is the expected time it takes to manufacture the products. This lead time is independent of the quantity to produce and does not take the routing time into account. So now that we configured everything, let's just go to, um, through the flow. So I'm just going to the website on this page and here I'm just gonna order a cam trailer. So let's just say I'm going to take a red one with a wood door and this is the price I'm going to have to pay. So I add it to, I add it to my cart and I process to check out. 
and I have the possibility to pay online clicking this button. By the way I could also contact the contact the team to I don't know ask for some clarifications or whatever but in this case everything is quite clear so I'm just gonna pay pay now. And you see that I got the order number, I have the bank account to make my payment, and I know that my order is being processed internally, and that they will get back to me as soon as possible. So what's happening in the back end of Oju? So in the back end, if you go to the sales application, you will see this same order that's just been generated. So let's just click it. And by the way, we see that the quotation has been sent and you see it here. And this is basically what the customer is going to see, like it's going to receive this email. And you see um, the variant that I, I chose with the different attributes, so red color and wood door. What happens if I confirm it? You see that a manufacturing order has been generated and you have the shortcut to get to it from the sale order. You also have a delivery order, but since we haven't manufactured the product yet, we will first need to go there in the manufacturing order. So I'm just clicking this button and I end up here. And here I see that some of my products aren't available. But you also see here that a purchase order was triggered since we configured everything properly beforehand. So I'm just gonna click it. I see a link back to the manufacturing order and I see that everything I didn't have on hand they, this order has been gener generated for these things. So you can see it here. So I'm just going to confirm that this order, this will turn into a purchase order. I will receive the products. And let's see, I think everything seems fine. Okay, so I'm just going to do it the quick way. So validate it. Yes, apply. You see this is going to turn, the done quantity is going to change here. So it means that now I have it in my inventory. So good. So uh, let's just go back to the, to the purchase order and back to the manufacturing order. And now you see that those uh, units have been reserved and everything is available. I could again check availability, but in this case, I know that everything is here. So, so yeah. So you see that so far everything is pretty, like everything is interrelated. So it makes it easier for like all the stakeholders to know what they have to do, what they have, what they don't have, um, to get access to all the documents related to that order that was triggered from the website. So it makes everybody's life easier. And you can also see like all the different components here and all the things that you need basically. So now that I have everything, I can just plan it. I'm just going to plan this manufacturing order. It's been planned. And once it's planned, I can go to the work orders, which are which are either here or, or I could do it the long way and go to the manufacturing application, operation, work orders. And you see them here again. And I see this one is ready and this one is waiting for another one. So let's just go to the tablet view on this one, clicking this button. And you see the instructions. So let's pretend I'm building it. So this is the check I was talking about. So this is where the consumed in operation that you can that we saw here applies. So I'm just going to validate. I used two wheels. I used 
for walls so I can validate it as well. And a wood door, validate. And then I can mark it as done. And now you see that the second work order is ready. So I can also start it. You also see the instructions. I'm just gonna click next. And then I have this check once again. Did I use the red paint? Yes, I did. So I validate it. And then I can mark it as done or mark it as done and close the manufacturing order. So I'm just gonna mark it as done and I have a summary of what I did. So I'm just gonna mark it as done first. And then if I go to the manufacturing order, see that this one was planned today. If I go to work orders, you have the time it took. And then I'm just gonna mark it as done here. And you see that it changed, it changed and now this is done. So I will just go back to the, to the sale. And then to the delivery. And I didn't mention, mention it before, but you see that the scheduled date is actually um, in 30 days and actually for the manufacturing order um we also had a scheduled date of that took into consideration this delivery date and the manufacturing need time as well so yeah this is where it applies so here i'm just going to validate it once again you will see that this will turn to one so it's been delivered and if I go to the inventory application, so let's pretend we are a part of the inventory team here. I'll just go to the transfers. I'll just take this transfer. So you see the source document, so it makes it easy for me to know what we are talking about. So you see the sale order number number 15. That's just went from my stock to the customer. And you can see this is done. So this is a nice summary page to see all the transfers that happened. And that's about it.